I had this idea to write a book called The Polymath Slacker's Guide to Everything. There are extremely motivated people in every field, and in every field there are C students. I set out to be a C student in every field. And with a lot of help from the internet, I'm getting there. I bring up Polymath Slacker because I have a project to work on, and I can't think of a better name for it. So this project will be called The Polymath Slacker's Guide to Voting from Home. See, a slacker keys in on things like you can vote from home by mail with 30 to 35 days to decide on who you want to vote for. And I think that's more realistic for people these days, at least more than getting in line somewhere on the first Tuesday in November. Voting by mail is not a novel idea, and it's been around for a while, but it's always been related to older people. But I don't see why a lazy person can't use it for the same reasons. So I attended a meeting in Jupiter at the Palm Beach County Library branch there where Super Susan Booker, the supervisor of elections, basically told the tale of how to get a ballot at home and vote from home and mail it back in. The supervisor of elections office says that they'll come out to any voter registration party, whether there be five or 50 people in attendance, which is pretty nice to know. Keeps you clear of the uh, third-party registration constraints that they're newly in effect with the felonies and the $1,000 charges and all that. So rather than get involved in any of that, just get the supervisor's office to your party or to your gathering and then you don't have to worry about that because you're dealing directly with the government officials. I'm guessing we're all slackers because I'm pretty much a slacker and a, I'm looking to make things easy for myself and for people. And that's easy to get somebody out there to do all the paperwork for you if anybody's not registered or needs to update something. The meeting was an hour and 42 minutes long and it reminded me of a college civics class. And it was nice to know I could sit that long and participate in it. I know not everybody's got that kind of motivation or free time. Me neither, really. I was just lucky to have that day off and wanted that to do. We do have the option of early voting. However, it's eight days, shortened from 14 to eight days, but they've gone up an hour, so they're now they're going to be open 12 hours a day from the Saturday a week before the election to the Saturday immediately before the election. So if you're feeling adventurous, you can head out to the library or one of your wherever your polling station is and, and vote early. But this project is more geared toward people voting from home. I think young people need somebody motivated to show them how to do this in their peer group. And once it's, it becomes easy and not significantly uncool to know how to do this, then they'll participate in larger numbers, hopefully. I think psychologists call that internalization. But having one educated, motivated person in their peer group makes it possible for the entire group to care about the election and reminds them of their best intentions. The elections last month, there was a 11% voter turnout. 11%. One municipality was 2.9%. All the things decided by a city government in that municipality are going to be decided by people elected by less than 3% of the population. And I'm sure they all didn't vote for the same person. <laughs> the other comment on getting problems to getting young people to vote is that they change their address so frequently. So in a project like this, you have a registration party within a month of the election. That way you know you got everybody's updated and accurate information and address. Once people are registered to vote, they can change their address by sending the supervisor of elections an email. It's pretty easy. I'll get the email address and put it up somewhere. But you can get your ballot sent to your address and they'll mail it right where you live. My registration parties, this, the premise, the context, it's going to be a cookout because it's really easy to get people to go to a cookout at a park. People want to do stuff like that already. It's very difficult to get people excited about registering to vote. But if it's on the periphery of going to the park and having a good time, eh, eh, there's, a, there's a shot that we might find some interest. Voting from home is just perfect slacker speed because you can express yourself, you can care about civics and the way the world runs without having it to dominate at least even, even one day. So just take a deep breath and repeat after me. 
I'm not supposed to know this already. I'm not supposed to know how to do this already. Then you can watch this video again or look into more stuff. It's okay to learn stuff. There's lots and lots of stuff out there to learn. There's people whose job it is is to give you this information and they're paid with your tax dollars. So because of redistricting, virtually every seat in every legislative chamber, every seat is up now. There's, it's a giant opportunity now to really show what it is that the people of Florida think and elect representation that's accurate and true representation of the will of the people. I mean, that's a giant task. That's a big deal. It's very important, even for a slacker, and it doesn't take much. We have these wonderful tools called democracy and the internet, and that's what we're going to use to make things better. For democracy especially, if you, if you don't use it, you lose it. And there's people actively trying to take it away right now. If this project works in a, a level that's good enough to demonstrate to other people, maybe we can get other people doing these types of projects for the general. So there's a, there's a goal beyond just getting people to vote in the primaries and registered and all of that. You've got to stay with it. This is small, small peer groups. This is all about lazy. It's okay to be lazy and care about the world. And you can do something. One person can do something. If you show other people how to do what you're doing and you have positive results, there's not a lot of expense to this. Not a ton of time. So this is the Polymath Slacker's Guide to Voting from Home. Polymath Slacker is a trademark of Polymath Enterprises, LLC which was responsible for the content of this production. Please visit FloridaIncommon.com for more details.